Hey guys, happy Sunday. Last week was an interesting one as we navigated through the French side of St. Martin's Lagoon. Luckily, it was totally worth it as we made our way into PDP Marina, where we'll be spending the next little while while Ryan flies home to Australia to visit family and friends. Now it's time to settle into marina life for a little while, smash out some boat jobs, and get ready before Ryan decides to leave us. So one of the hardest parts about being here on the Dutch side of St. Martin is our French SIM cards work obviously on the French side, but they have very strict lines for their Wi-Fi towers. So as soon as we cross the bridge, our internet completely cuts out. Problem is, is here on the Dutch side, they don't really have great options for data packages for SIM cards for your phone. It's a lot of money for very little internet however if we get a mobile router for 55 us dollars we can get unlimited internet splits. but we'll see wish us luck Brittany's inside just sorting things out now. The internet looks like it's all good to go. Yeah, I'll just wait for her out here. Go get a drink or something. All right, all good? We've all good. got internet. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are considering staying here in the Dutch side of St. Martin for an extended period of time, after a lot of research, we worked out that this Telem portable router is the best way to go. For $50 a month, we were able to get unlimited internet. Granted, that means when we leave the boat, our phones don't work, but we can make do with that as long as we have a ton of Wi-Fi when we're back on the boat. I'm practicing on our new outboard while Ryan's here, so I get used to it before he leaves. Man, it is fast. 18 horsepower. Oh, shit, pretty. <laughs> All right guys, now that we've got our internet sorted, our next thing on the to-do list is taking Oliver in to get his next round of shots. The Island Vet is a really well-run clinic here on the Dutch side, and it's situated right next to SXM Paws. The ladies there were super sweet, spoiling Oliver with tons of treats, and they even helped us out a bit knowing that Oliver was an island dog rescue. <laughs> Welcome to a little bit of boat life. Yeah, yeah. Just jumping in marina water to uh, change our anode before I fly out. Oh, I'm gonna jump in and change this anode. So um, the water, the boat's in the marina, the anode's completely stuffed and our uh, German buddies gave me his old one. After Ryan removed our old anode, we compared it to our German friend's old anode and had a pretty good laugh over what they considered needing replaced. I mean, look at the two next to each other. There's a big difference between the Aussie standard and the German standard. Ryan began suiting up, getting ready to dive under the boat, and in this moment, we were so thankful to have our mini dive tank. If I can suggest anything to you guys, if you're considering boat life or long-term cruising, having one of these is a game changer. It makes simple tasks like diving under the boat to scrape the hull, or in this case, changing the anode, super quick and easy. Without it, Ryan would normally spend ages gasping for air, diving back down, and overexerting himself, coming back and forth over and over again, turning a little job like this into something really long and exhausting. It wasn't too bad. Uh. So the boat's a mess. We're gonna get it nice and tidy. Ryan just dove down in the water, having a quick shower now to rinse off. Marinas are never fun to swim in. Come on, mate. There you go. Oh, man. He was drinking and the puppy came. I think because that big soup wheel up there's come in, they probably hit their bow thrusters and stuff and their propellers and they've mixed it all up. But I couldn't even see like a foot in front of me. It'd be interesting to see what the footage looks like when I was actually looking. And then top it off, the uh, the goggles were fogging up. <laughs> and then it was floating up. I should have put a weight belt on. Anyway, it's done. Um, we are missing a bolt though. One of the bolts came off. So I have to jump in again at some point to put a new bolt on. But I'll do that when we get back. The joys of boat life. Somebody's phone's ringing. While we're here in the marina, we'll also be working with the local rescue organization, SXM Paws, who's doing incredible things for the animals of St. Martin. Before a puppy can enter their rescue, they have to undergo a two week quarantine to ensure they're healthy enough and won't introduce any sort of illness into the shelter. And unfortunately, the rescue's quarantine area was already at absolute capacity. It wasn't long before we received a call from Diana, the owner of the shelter, with an urgent case of two puppies who had been rescued off of a beach by tourists who were leaving the next day. So guys, join us as we go 
and pick up our newest Sunday Fosters. All right, guys, so we got something exciting to show you guys. We're just gonna look for a red hatchback. Is that right, Brittany? Oh, this one's got an amazing little fur. I know, I know, they're both so cute. These two guys were in relatively good condition, apart from the most disgusting flea and tick infestation I think I've ever seen. Ticks had completely engulfed their body, especially in their ears and between their toes. It was so awful, but luckily the medicine that the vets had given them had completely killed them before they got to us. All I had to do at this point was just continue removing any ticks that were left behind. So the puppies have been sleeping for hours since their bath. They're catching up on much needed sleep. They're so exhausted. It's been a hard life up until now. You're trying to catch up. Oh, trying to catch up, are we? Stingers. Hi, Stingers. Okay, so um, I'm just making some water right now. We're gonna put some membrane preservative in the uh, water maker system just to flush the system, clean it all out. This is our first time ever trying to pickle our water maker. We live full time on our boat, so yeah. our water maker is getting used all the time. This is oh, a no. very rare thing for It's us. good to do though, because we'll clean the whole system and stuff too. So let's do it, I'll put new filters in, we'll get that done, and then that's another job tick off of this, eh? Whoa. <laughs> all right. I usually clean this locker out, but I've got all these ropes and buckets behind me. So they're quite clean actually, those stick filters still. As many of you guys know, boat jobs have a tendency to come with a lot of swear words. F sake, man. <laughs> this one seems to be having a mild amount of swear words, just average, nothing wild. Boat jobs are never fun, and they're never as easy as you think they're gonna be. And famous last words is this is just a quick job as Ryan sweats and scratches his back in the lacerette. Well, I should have put this somewhere else. I thought like... Look at your poor back. Is it scratched, is it? It's all red. Oh, how'd you go? How'd you go? I got a couple air bubbles. Oh, that's all right. What we did was we just opened up the strainer, hey? Oh, so Brittany just poured the membrane preservative into the strainer there, put the lid back on the strainer. We siphoned through, what, 20 liters? Replaced the filters. And they were good, good to go, hey? So that's three months. Water maker is done, the anode's done. We got internet today. We got the engine fixed the other day. I feel like now it's just cleaning up and admin work. So basically we're getting the boat all prepped as if we're storing it for winter, but really we're not. We're just, I'm just going home uh, for a month and we're in the marina. So that's why we're doing all these things. Just getting it Brittany ready, huh? Getting you all set up for when I'm away. Yep, I'm gonna be flying solo. Yeah, will I be back? I don't know, will I be back? I don't know, I might. Jackson and I might sail off into the sunset without you. Oh, whatever. You're too scared. You'll be too scared to move the boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, okay, look. So I'm going home. We're going to be in the marina here for a little bit. Uh, we've got heaps of exciting stuff happening back home and also here in the marina. So the reason we're here is because PDP Marina, they work with SXM Paws and we do animal rescue. So they've really hooked us up because uh, this is a fantastic marina, beautiful place. A lot of the marinas in the Caribbean are not your traditional marinas. They're more like docks yeah. that you tie onto. This is the first marina we've seen for a long time. That's yeah. like a beautiful setup marina with like luxurious facilities so yeah. this feels like such a treat well it's like there's heaps of super yachts here so like the facilities are really nice after living on a sailboat for three and a half years yeah. you do not realize the luxuries that oh. you miss from home do you know what one of the nicest things about being here right now is having water yes. walking the dog yes yeah well, electricity having a garbage service oh yeah yeah no. so we can put our bags our bags of garbage out on the dock yeah and they magically disappear every day that should not be a luxury <laughs> but that feels like such a luxury wait oh. until we take you through the country club that comes with our birth yeah. here i'm super pumped to be here especially while ryan's leaving us for a little while yeah yeah, yeah. i'm gonna be soaking up the luxury for the next yeah. little while all right guys so it's ryan's last night we're making a fancy dinner to celebrate our last night together for a little while 
while. We're actually gonna do some charcoal steaks, which we never do. We very rarely eat red meat. So we're about to put the steaks on the grill, but I'm also making a herbed butter that I'm gonna roll out right now and put in the fridge to slice up and put on our steaks after they're done. And it's gonna be good. Okay, so I made my little butter nub. It's basically like an absolute random mix of stuff, but it's butter, cream cheese, chive, green onion, parsley, chopped garlic, all the good stuff. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge, it'll harden up, and then we'll cut it up into little pieces and put it on the steaks when they're ready to eat. Sexy legs. <laughs> All right, so this is our last dinner for a little bit, eh? The marina was hosting an event that night, so after dinner, we headed down to have a drink and enjoy the fireworks. We ended up meeting a bunch of cruisers and went back to their boat for a nightcap, and one thing led to another, and do not ask me how we ended up here, but we ended up getting talked into standing on plates of nails. It hurt so friggin' bad. We learned that it had a ton of really good health benefits, but it is definitely not something I'll be trying again anytime soon. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It's a really awesome way of supporting our channel and it doesn't cost you a thing. And thank you so much for everybody who showed interest in my sea glass pendants. I was actually really surprised and excited by the response. So if you head over to our website, svsunday.com, you can see the two listings there under our online store. And you have a couple different options of solid sterling silver or gold filled. Head over there and check it out. And I'm so excited to see how you guys like them. And we'll see you next week. But boat jobs are never as easy as you think they're gonna be. As you can hear, we're next to an airport. Thank you, what do you wanna do? I'll take, get naked for the camera or something? Okay, let's go do some work now. Uh, oh man, I put on weight over Christmas, eh? I get that was funny. <laughs> but we just like, you really want to go in this water? It looks extra murky today. I can't do that. That's bad. All right. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe.